The Cultural Development Foundation has a new executive director. Renowned cultural activist Kennedy Booth Samuel had his first day on the job on Monday. His day began with a briefing and tour of the CDF grounds led by CDF chairman Milton Branford. Branford says Samuel's contribution to the arts and culture will serve him well in his new post. He's a, he's a chap who's been involved in the cultural solution for a long time. He's been involved in theatre, he's been involved in production, and as you know, he's been involved in archiving the, uh, the history and, 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 and the culture of St. Lucia through the, through the folk research. So there's a lot of, a lot of uh, involvement in there that uh, I think is an asset to us. Samuel takes over the reins of the CDF after many years as executive director of the Folk Research Center. He says he is looking forward to the challenges that come with his new appointment. Samuel says his first few days on the job will be dedicated to learning the day-to-day -day operations of the organization. The CDF is such an important institution in St. Lucia today, especially as more and more we come to realize the value, the importance of culture, the central value of culture in the development, whatever developmental path that we take, if we do not pay attention to our people, who we are and what we bring to the table as the foundation for where we move from here, I don't think there's much that we can do and we can offer to our, to our communities. Samuel recently completed a program in cultural management. Branford says this qualification will complement the CDF board's goal of ensuring culture becomes an income-generating industry. CDF over the years has done quite a, a bit with regard to the management of certain activities, cultural activities, etc. But we are now at that point where we have to look at um, culture not only as entertainment, as most people seem to, seem to see, but also as something that is very viable for the St. Michel economy, economy and St. Michel society in general. And I think that um, uh, we need someone who not only has culture at heart, who not only has the experience, but also has the training in management of, the, of, 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 of those areas. And I think all of that can be found in, in Mrs. Kennedy Boat Samuel says he has no illusions about the post. He is fully aware of all the problems the CDF faces. But he is embracing the opportunity to confront the challenges head on and is calling for a rebirth of St. Lucian pride in all things cultural. Samuel's appointment is for a three-year period. Alison Kentish, HTS News, Channel 4.